Hi again, I am Priyanka this side if we have not met before and today I have come up with D6 problem of lead code which is kth missing positive number. Here we are given an array of positive integers sorted in a strictly increasing order and an integer k where we need to find the kth positive integer that is missing from this array. L let's say we are given with array 2, 3, 4, 7, 11 and we need to return with a fifth uh, positive missing number here what's uh, happening is like when we start from one two uh, one is missing one is the number which is missing and then two three four are there then five and six again they're missing then uh, seven is here then eight nine ten are the numbers which are missing eleven we are having then twelve after starting with twelve all the numbers are missing and what we need to send from here is 5. So counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is 9. 9 is the fifth missing number that we need to return. Talking about the second example, 1, 2, 3, 4, we are having. And then 5 and so on. All the numbers are missing. Um, but what we need to return here is 2, which is 5. 6. 6 is the second number. Um, yeah, 6 is the sixth number. Uh, 6 is the second number which is missing here. So, what approach I'm going to use it here is I'll keep a check of all the numbers using this current value 1. Alright, and I'll first point 2. Then after this, I will minus 2 minus 1. I'll subtract 1 from 2 to check. Are there any numbers missing? Yeah, there are. 2 minus 1 is 1. That means we are having some missing count that we can store here. I'll just do that again. 1. We were pointing to 2 and 2 minus 1 is 1. All right. Sorry for this. And then there are numbers missing, but from here onwards, we are looking for fifth positive number. What we can now, what we have known after this missing count is that from 1 to 2 there is one number missing so we can reduce this k by 4 okay and then i can i know that from 1 to 2 one number is missing then i can take i can consider now after 2 which is 2 plus 1 3 now 3 is the number that i'll be looking forward then i'll update pointer in the array and now I'm pointing to 3 here I am having 3 3 minus 3 is 0 that means I'm not missing any value here so uh, I'll be taking next element after, which comes after 3 which is 4 and then I will update the pointer 4 minus 4 again we are not missing any number then I'll just update this 5 and update pointer here as well. Now we are pointing to 7. Now 7 minus 5 that is 2. That means we have we have missing two numbers starting from 4 to 7. Right. So I, what I can do is I can just reduce it by 2. 4 minus 2 is 2. Then what does it mean is till from 7 onwards I will be looking for second missing number. That is how we are reducing missing numbers that we will be looking forward. Now what happens till 7 I know. Now 7 plus 1 is 8. Now I will be looking forward for 8 after updating this. Now I am pointing to 11. 11 minus 8 is 3. Now here the uh, the point to ponder is here we are having 11 and missing count between 7 and 11 is 3 but I'm looking for second missing number correct so what I can do is I can 
add 7 plus 2 because I know these this sequence is strictly increasing ordered right so which is 9 I'll just return with 9 so how we are going to do this in terms of code is as I said current I'll start with this and missing will be 0 initially and to traverse the array I'll have this i all right so while i is less than I'll, I'll just shorten it to a anyway it doesn't matter in this until we need to write explanatory code all right so for very first i will check a i minus c I'll check if this is greater than C. Okay. Then, if it is, then missing A minus C. Then I will check if K is greater than M. Missing count. In that case only, we are going to decrease this by M. Else, we will return a i plus k. So what we did here, when we were at 7, we knew that we are looking for second missing element, which lies between 7 and 11. So what I did, we were at 11. So I did a i minus uh, index array element with index i minus 1 that is 7 plus k which was remaining that is 2 that is what i returned here yeah. all right so but uh, what if an array starts with 100 okay and we are having numerous of numbers here and our k is 3. In that case, we can just return k. Do you guys agree with me? Okay. If you don't, then you need to uh, check that out at your end. If I then just return k. Else. all right so this is the very first element that we are comparing and we when we and we got to know that k is smaller than the first element which we are having three is smaller than 100 and missing numbers are 99 okay so in that case we'll just return three as it is and in worst case we will return a I minus 1 plus k. Let's try this out. So 1, 1 starting with this alright. So here we need to update this. We, what we were doing is a i plus 1. So we are having count till last till the current element so now we are will be looking forward current element plus one and also i need to increment i in order to update the pointer which is pointing to the elements present in the array let's submit it and then see accepted so it, it has got up accepted. So thank you for watching and do like, share and subscribe my channel to get to know about more coming up questions. Thank you.